Hello everyone and welcome on the Lord of the Builds. Today we're gonna see how to do this amazing cobblestone wall. I will explain to you step by step how I did this. Hopefully it can be useful for you in any of your projects. Okay, so we start with a basic XPS form. Uh, I'm using here a stone, a simple stone to texture it. Uh, the goal of this is uh, of course to give a first texture but also, as you will see it, I will draw on it with a pen and uh, texturing it first, uh, make it easy to draw on it. So here I'm gonna start with doing the shapes of the stones, giving as random shape as possible different sizes. Then I'm uh, accentuating the shape of the stone, still with a pen, but this time almost digging between the stones. This will add a very interesting 3D effect. Don't hesitate to go very deep in this phase, this will add more amazing effect. Then I add some detail in the shape by cutting some parts. No stones, it is perfect. All the stones, if you look at any old walls, have holes, have cracks. Then starting to apply the uh, main paint, which so it is simply black, black paint that I mix with PVA glue. So here, as you see, I'm going carefully because I don't want to fill too much the space between the stone that I took time to uh, create. So here, I mainly want to do, of course, the surface, and then. Step by step, I go between the stones slowly, not filling it. Then I will add uh, some uh, diversity in the colors. So I start with a yellow brown for the main color. So here I definitely go only at the surface, but I try to cover as much as possible, going in every direction. Here I put a bit too much on the corner, but it doesn't matter. Once again, uh, no uh, wall is perfect and you can see some variation from one place to the other. Then a bit of detail with several colors. If you look at a wall with such a stone, you will notice that there are all of these colors actually with going from brown, red, white, green. I have even seen some blue actually. The colors might look a bit too much flashy, 
but uh, this will be attenuated by the uh, dry brush and later on by uh, adding the details. So here I'm adding some uh, small paint detail, as I said, no wall is perfect. So I'm adding several touch of small colors at different spots. Now we go with a dry brush. So carefully taking a bit of white paint, acrylic paint on my pencil and unloading it on classic paper. Here in this case I'm going only in one direction, brushing always in the same direction. I can also brush diagonally but always in the same direction, in this case from up to down. And you can see that the colors are already fading a bit. Now I will do the materials that will go between the stones. So this is uh, simply some, uh, uh, yeah, you can find this compound in any uh, building stores. Mix it with water and PVA glue. Let's try to make it a bit thick. It's not supposed to be too liquid. It should hold between the stones. You can also add some colors to it. Again, none of this material uh, is perfect and is perfectly white. A bit of greenish. And applying it on the old surface of your wall. Don't hesitate to put a lot. It looks like you're destroying somehow what you did until now, but you will see that it's not the case. The idea here is to fill all the gaps. Now, with a piece of wood, you remove as much as you can from the surface and then you go with a piece of paper and removing still a bit more. And here comes a trick. So take a sponge that you fill with water then remove the water, of course. It, the sponge should be just a bit of a bit humid. And go on the top of your wall, cleaning the sponge every time and then cleaning the wall afterward. And you can see that now the colors are appearing again, leaving the compound material between the stones. At the end, uh, with a bit of paper, remove the humidity on the wall. Now using my special black wash, uh, starting to add some detail. I don't want to fill the whole wall with this. I uh, want just to put some uh, details showing that there, there was some dirt or some water leaking at these places. We can see that this wash is going very well between the stones. It's quite good usually to let the wash 
react to gravity itself. It gives a way better and more natural look. Filling also the holes that has been filled with this compound and which doesn't look much natural. And then ha adding some detail at the lower part of the wall, which is supposed to be the dirty, dirtiest one. Then uh, spreading a bit more uh, the wash, but without too much wash on the pencil, just to start adding more detail around the black spots because the spots usually are not that perfectly limited. It's usually dirty everywhere. Then I'm also making dirty the compound between the stones. Using rosemarine from my kitchen and mixing it with PVA glue, I'm preparing some grass Mouse climbing on the wall, mixing it with water and looking for texture which is also a bit thick. Adding some green color, greenish color to it. And Applying it to the wall. Let's try to make a tree shape, tree like shape. Then using one of this, some of this grass. Uh, that can find in any uh, stores for dioramas. And adding some more at the bottom of the wall. Okay, so here it is. Uh, this is uh, the wall once it dried. So you can see that's quite not a bad result. Uh, it gives a very natural and realistic look. Uh, I'll let you enjoy now. <laughs> 